I think fundamentally the way people get educated at universities, you know, get computer science education is going to change from being focused heavily on teaching people coding to being focused on teaching people engineering. Yeah. Okay. Because ultimately that, that, that's what you're talking about, right? Is coming out with the, the sort of judgment that you need to be able to say, are these systems modular enough and decoupled enough? And are they resilient enough? And all these things that you typically learn later in life as a senior engineer, you're going to have to learn right up front now. So if you're a college student now, or you just finished or whatever, lean on AI to start learning that stuff. Because uh, ultimately that's what you've got to do as a team lead. Now look, you're not leading a team of humans. And that means about 50% of the BS that you have to deal with as a team lead is just not an issue. For example, you you can work them to death and they'll never die. You can give them the same task 500 times if you don't like it and they'll just keep doing it, right? There's, but you're going to run into all of the team related stuff, not the people stuff. How sometimes your systems may be set up so that they overlap and people step on each other. If you're organized that way, your AI, your AI agents will step on each other too. You're going to have merges to deal with, right? I mean, you're going to have agents that depend on each other because they're sequencing problems. These are all skills that you can start learning early on in high school or sooner. They're all very different from the way programming has worked historically, which is single threaded. So yeah, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be different, but I mean that's that's the way things are headed.